Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to add a tutorial for you about frequency separation and how you can use it to retain great skin texture in your images. I don't shoot a lot of women, so for the men, I really need to keep that gritty masculine texture instead of softening it away. So I'm going to show you how to set up a frequency separation action as well as use it for skin softening, blemish removal. It can take care of all of your skin needs in one quick and easy um, setup. So. Let's do it. Hooray for boobies. We are in Photoshop. I chose this image so you can specifically see how I use frequency separation differently between men and women. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is click on your background layer and duplicate it twice. So you can do that by duplicating down at the bottom or Command J two times. This bottom layer is going to be renamed Color and go ahead and rename the top one texture. That'll help you keep it straight in your mind from now on. Um, so today I'm just gonna tell you the technique of frequency separation, not the specifics of how it works because it's really a complicated process. So take your texture layer and hide it. Click on the color layer. We're gonna go up here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So when we blur this, we want to be able to lose some texture, but we, we don't want to lose any major details. So somewhere between like two and four is good. It depends on the image. So there we go. Um, then we're going to unhide the texture layer, go up to image and apply image. So here where it says layer, you want to make sure your color layer is selected. You want to change your blending mode to subtract. Make sure the scale is at two and the offset is at 128. Hit OK. And then on the texture layer, you want to make your um, blending mode to linear light. So this texture layer is basically like running a high pass. It pulls out all the texture. And then the color layer takes away all the texture, so you're just left with the color. So now you do your skin cleanup the way you always do your skin cleanup, except you work on the color side of things or the texture side of things. I do 95% of my editing on the color side of the layers um, and you can use the patch tool spot healing I use the healing brush tool but use whatever you're comfortable with they all work basically the same so you're just gonna select clean skin nearby and it's going to replace or heal just in the color range it is not taking care of any texture at this point so you can see after we clean this up we are still left with the texture of those blemishes. So pop up to the texture layer and do the exact same thing. So you can see we're just messing with the texture in that little spot, but now we're not messing with the color. So if I went over this freckle, you can see the color still remains. Okay, if I go over the nipple, the color still remains. But, so if I wanted to go over the nipple with the texture, but fully erase it, then I just go over it again with color, and it's gone. We'll leave the nipple for today. So, I use it the same way on men and women. I don't like to do a lot of skin softening, especially on men, I don't do any. So, I like to clean up the skin well enough that when I'm ready to do the skin softening, it's going to need very little because I've already taking care of all the texture business that I need to ahead of time. Um, with this frequency separation, especially with the combination between the color and the texture, you can get rid of a lot of issues. I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to go through and do a bunch of cleaning for you and then when I come get done with that, then we'll work on the airbrushing and the theory behind that. I don't care what my teacher says. Okay, so as you can see, since I spent some time cleaning up everything, the, her skin is super smooth. His skin looks great. It's still textured. So I don't really need to do a lot of skin smoothing. But you can do that in frequency separation really easily. So what you need to do is just add a layer between the color and texture layer. You can add as many of these as, as you want. So if you want to 
smooth her face more than her body, you can do that. Just add one for face, one for body. So what you're going to do is add that middle layer, and on that layer, switch over to your brush at a really low flow, 100% opacity, low flow, between 2 and 4%. And you're going to Alt or Option click to define a color source. And then you're just going to very lightly paint over. You need to pay close attention to your colors and shadows here since you're selecting them. And it's okay to overdo this a little bit because you can pull it back pretty easily. So we're going to choose these little areas here and there. Um, get some of this dark area here. We'll kind of contrast out her chin a little bit there. Just paint it in a little bit. Just try to be as consistent as you can. Make sure you're only painting in that color range. So if I choose here and paint here, obviously we're going to have a problem. So stay in those color ranges and now you can see she's airbrushed. If that looks like it's a little bit too much, you can go in. So like here, you can see I've gone over a little bit. That's all right, just switch over to the eraser and clean up the edges. You can pull it back with the low opacity eraser if you want, or you can, let's get this back, you can just turn down the opacity on this layer. So I overcooked it a little bit, so I'm gonna turn it down to like a 80%. But that softens up her skin. You can see all of this area, there's still nice contrast, nice detail and everything, but it's all smoothed up. So you can do this on the full body. It only takes a couple of seconds to go back over that way and clean it up and do the airbrushing. If you're more comfortable and it it's faster for you to use your regular skin smoothing, so your portraiture or whatever you like to use, then use that. Everyone has their own system and um, this is just one more tool to put in your toolbox. So that's how you use frequency separation. I hope that was helpful.